All right, now we're going to connect a uh, bridge with our Unreal Engine. And we're going to just pick one material that we're going to select. Um, let's just go with, uh, with anything, really. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go with this clay pot. And I'm going to click on it. And what you're going to see is that this shows up, okay, on this side. And what we want to do is, um, this is kind of obvious, but make sure you're logged in, otherwise nothing will work. And make sure that you're logged in as your password. So if they're using multiple students in your class, make sure that you log out and log back in as the new student because it keeps track of, of what you're looking for. And usually what I tell the students to do is they can kind of uh, pick the things they want and add them to their download folder. But before we do that, we want to set up the download settings, okay? And what you're going to notice is I have a certain set of download um, settings that I'm going to change by going to the global download settings, okay? And well, the default usually is 8K, but since we're doing this in schools, we want to fix a couple things. We want 2Ks. We want everything to be set up for Unreal Engine. And what we're going to do is uh, uh, we're going to not include load zero and load one. Uh, now, I did give a questionnaire if you're doing this as part of a, a series that explains what loads are. These are extremely high polys for extremely advanced kind of games. So I'm just going to remove the first two. It'll still look really good with, a lot of, with these. And there's quite a bit here. So I'm thinking we're going to just you know, remove maybe like these, the first three, and that'll be the default, okay? So now when I go download uh, something from uh, assets, it'll have this setting. Now, I want to just show you that if I change to a, uh, a plant, it may not keep the same settings because it's a different type of material. So just double check. Oh, it did, okay. And let's just double check if I uh, now try and download a uh, surface. Will it have the same settings? Seems to have the same settings. Okay. So now what you can do is let's download something. Let's go with this debris here. Looks really cool. And I'll click on it. You have to click on it to see if it keeps the same settings. Okay. And it seems to have it. So we're going to download that. So there's two parts to the process. The first part is downloading the items and anything you download does go to your computer. So before, and I may not have shown this, so I'm going to show you how to set it up so that it's appropriate. So in your settings, you need to do two things. You need to make sure it says Unreal Engine and you also should create a new folder, which I did and I called it Quixel Bridge. So this is not the same as your game. So this is another folder where the materials go to, okay? They click save. And so everything you download will go there. Now, this is important to realize. That just because you download something, it doesn't mean it's in your game yet. So we have to get it into the game. So as soon as you download one thing, you're going to see export settings. I'm going to click on that. And this is really important and maybe the part where you, you gotta take your time okay so same thing with export settings you're going to change this to 2k jpeg and you're going to click export to where well this works with other software but the only one that is free for students is unreal engine okay and over here under engine version um, you have to make sure you have the correct version uh, i switched back to 4.24 just because there was a glitch on my computer but otherwise uh, you probably should stay with 4.25. Um, so I'm going to go with that. And then you have to find the installation folder. And what is the installation folder? It's the folder that uh, the Unreal Engine installed to. So not your project, but where the program is installed. So the actual program and not uh, the, the, the thing you're working on. And this is where do you find this? It's usually on your C drive under program well you can see obviously i already found it under epic games under engine and why do we need to put it in the plugin because it basically adds it to your unreal engine and once you set this up 
and you click select folder in your unreal engine it'll add this little that's why it goes in the plugin folder because it adds this okay and uh, you need to have that and one thing that i often uh, tell people to do right away is to enable displacement which i'll show you what that does later but basically it makes it look cooler okay so click on that so that first part is done the second thing that you have to do is go if you're actually working on a specific project which you probably have set up if you haven't you make make sure you set this up first in unreal engine go create your project you know file create a new project which you actually have to do from epic games uh and you know we already went over this but uh you know you go to library you know launch the, the version and create a project from there okay once you've done that and you've saved it you come over here you go and get that folder in, in my case i have these on the d drive like i've already told you to do you definitely want to have this on a drive with lots of room so i have two projects here and i think it's this one that i'm using so now i'm ready to export okay now again i probably want to make this global so just click on this so that I don't have to do this every time. I only want to do this once. Once you set these two up at the bottom, it kind of remembers. But these two, you probably have to click. So I'm, I'm going to click on this material. Well, I want to just show you here too. Here's This has not been downloaded. This has been uh, already downloaded. And now I can export it. So let's see what happens when I click export. So when I, it'll say export Unreal Engine. And it will also, the first time you do it, take a little bit of time. I'm going to say three, four minutes. And so you see, it worked. And if I come over to my Unreal Engine, I'll see that it's currently installing them. Okay. Uh, if you're having problems, you're going to have to troubleshoot. But the main issue that, uh, that you might run into is that when you selected your export folder and your export settings, that you didn't select the proper plugin folder. Okay, you need to have access to this uh, this this uh, plugin tree, and over here you need to also have access to uh, um, the project. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know.